Hey, what's up guys? So when you move into a new place that has a lot of hardwood flooring, one of the key things you have to remember is to try and keep it as clean as possible. So today I have this new product. This is the Hosom G9070 robot vacuum. I've always wanted to have a robot vacuum for my house and I've never had hardwood flooring before, so I'm really excited to try this out. Let me go ahead, give you an unboxing, set this up, run through the app that comes with it, see how it performs and is it worth buying? Let's get straight into it. So this is the robot vacuum. You can see it has a very nice reflective surface at the top. Big massive power on button there at the bottom. On the top you have the auto recharging button. This will send it back to the dock and you also have the spot cleaning button here. Before you can start using this, I will need to remove these two strips that come inside like so. Just to show you the bottom. So this is the dust tray which can be removed and cleaned. It has the filter inside there. You've got yourself a brush, two wheels there, a rolling wheel there, and you can attach some side brushes on the ends here, which I'm going to do now. But before I do that, let's take a look at what else comes in the box. Inside the box, you have a user manual, both for the application and for the vacuum. You have yourself the remote control. I will showcase this. It also comes with two AAA batteries for the remote control. You also have four brushes as well that you can connect to the bottom of the vacuum, two there and two there. You have two boundary strips. You have yourself a single brush, the plug adapter, then you also have a water tank, which has a mop at the bottom of it, so you can clean up wet spills. On this side, you have yourself the charging dock, which I will set into the wall. And then finally, at the back here, you have yourself a sponge and high efficiency filter. So let's go ahead and set all of this up. But before I do that, let's quickly run through a little bit about the remote control. So I've just put the batteries into the remote control. It's pretty straightforward. You have yourself a digital display there at the top. The auto cleaning option just allows the vacuum to start cleaning in its automatic mode. And then you also have a return to charging dock button there. So it will find its way back and start charging itself. You have these directional buttons. This will allow you to manually adjust the direction of the vacuum yourself and then you can start and stop the vacuum cleaning from the middle button there. The ones down the left-hand side, the first one is to set up the time. The second one is to do spot cleaning. So if you have a focus area that needs to be cleaned, then the vacuum can just clean that spot specifically. And this one can do an entire single room using the S method. And I will showcase both of these samples later in the video. On the right-hand side, the one at the top is to schedule the setups to allow the vacuum to start working at any time that you set it up for during the day. The second one is called edge cleaning. You can set this up for the vacuum to clean the edges of the room alongside a wall. And the last one at the bottom there where it says max, this is for a max suction in a single room. And it's also set to auto cleaning mode on this. Let's take a closer look at the vacuum itself. So now I'm going to take one of these brushes and then clip them onto these sides here, like so. They go in very easily. They clip into place and they rotate once it starts cleaning your room. There we go. And that's pretty much all it is to it. Just to quickly showcase to you guys how to take the tray out, all I have to do is press this down and then it just pops out like so. Inside there, you have the filter that you can also clean. Just open it up from here and then you can pull that out from there. And you have the spare one inside the box as well if you want to replace that. So very easy to put back in. Just push it, clips into place, and then you can also replace this with the mop version that's also in the box. So now I'm going to set this up in its charging dock and let's take a look at how it performs in terms of cleaning the room. So I've just plugged the dock into one of the rooms and what I would recommend is if you download the app, connect it using Wi-Fi, and then you have it on your phone, you'll have a lot more features and you can also track the battery life and all of those kind of things. I currently don't have internet at my new house right now, so I'm not able to connect it to my phone to showcase to you guys how the app works but there's plenty of features that you can read in the user manual specifically for the app. So for this demonstration, I will be using the remote control that comes with it, but you can also use it manually without the remote control. You'll notice that there's a pink flashing light there just at the top of the vacuum. As soon as you press the power button, this will leave the dock and it will start to clean the room by itself. You can also press the button again to pause it 
and then press it once more once it's cleaning to restart. You can also send it back to its charging dock with the button on the top left. But what I'll do is I'll use the remote control and I'll showcase to you guys how it automatically starts to clean the room using an S shape throughout the entire room. Okay, I'm now going to press auto and it's now started. It's actually left the room and it's gone into the hallway. So the only barrier that it has is the walls and it will go pretty much around the house on its own. So it doesn't need to be confined to a specific room itself. What I'm going to do is on the remote control, I'm gonna hit the home button so that it returns back to its charging dock. And that's the button that you can see on the top right. Now it will start to find its way back. And there it is. It's docked itself back onto the charging dock. And that's one thing I really like about smart tech like this. It uses the inbuilt infrared sensors to navigate its way back to its original charging point. Now the next test, let's go ahead and see how well it performs in actually doing its job of picking up some dirt. Right, so I've got some dirt. I'm just gonna lay it down here on the floor. There we go. It's gonna come straight out. I want it to be able to clean the entire thing. So let's go ahead, use the remote control, see how that performs. It just sucked it all up. There's a few strands currently, but it will come back using the S method to clean up the rest. Okay, so just two more tests I want to do. I want to show you the spot clean and also the edge clean. So let's go ahead and start with the spot one, which will rotate in the same position to target a specific area. You'll notice it basically goes round in circles in the same area. You can also pick it up and do the spot clean in any specific spot around the room as well. So you can choose that yourself. The next thing I wanted to showcase was the edge clean. So this will go around the edges of the room and go alongside the walls. And maybe if you have dining table chairs, it will go around in between the legs as well. So it really hits the edges, which it doesn't concentrate on in this auto mode. So let me go ahead and hit this button. As you can see, it's coming towards me. Let's move out of the way. Now it's really focusing on just the edges. Let's see what happens when it hits the doorway. Let's follow it. It will just go around the edge of everything. And it will keep going. It's gone under the stairs. This is pretty cool actually. It will just go around every single edge of the whole house. And if that's really something you want to do, then that is something it can do. Very impressed with that. So let's go ahead and pause it now. Okay, so the final thing I want to show you is to switch it out with the mop filter. So this I've now filled with some water at the bottom. You just have to open up this orange slot. 
fill it up with the tap and you'll be able to see it's getting a little bit wet. So when this starts working, it will start mopping the floor. And if you've got some stains or you've spilled maybe some sauce and using a wet mop to do this is the best way to do that. And this is only going to work on hardwood floors. So let me go ahead and see how this performs. Okay, let's start. As you guys can see, it's got that streak of water. It's cleaning the whole room, making it shine, picking up any dirt. The blue mop underneath, you can then take off, put it into a washing machine or just do a hand wash and then reattach it back to the base. I'm also going to be cleaning the dust box that came out of it, emptying that, washing it, and then putting that back into place inside the vacuum. So I'm just gonna let this run for another 20 minutes, clean all the floors, and see how it looks. So that's it guys, just to summarize some of the key things I really like about this robot vacuum. There's a lot on the market currently. This one is 1900 PA, PA standing for Pascals, which is the atmospheric pressure. Ultimately, that just means how strong the suction is, and this is pretty good. A lot of the high-end ones will max out around the 2000, 2500 mark. 1900 is more than enough to get the majority of the dirt from your floors. Not only does it do a good job on hardwood floors, but that will also do a great job equally on carpets. So upstairs, I have carpets in my house, and I'm gonna be using this upstairs from time to time as well. And as you've seen from the demo, it avoids obstacles perfectly fine and even if you stand in front of it it won't smash into you it will stop with the infrared sensors it will go around you and continue vacuuming all around the floor in that same room you can see i've got it there just on the corner of the room down here so this is a very large open floor plan and it's going to be perfect for that i like the fact that you can control this in various different ways i can just go there tap the button manually and it will start working i can use the remote control I can even use the app. So once I have Wi-Fi up and running in my new home, I'll be able to control and use various different functions and see the battery life and a whole host of additional things that the remote can't do. Not only that, if you've got Amazon Echo, then you can ask Alexa to start vacuuming your rooms as well, which I think is great. So plenty of options for that. The one thing I really like with the robot vacuum, I haven't set it up with my Wi-Fi currently on my phone, but I can't see the battery life. And when I was using it across all of the floors in the downstairs of my house. It was running low and it will automatically go back to the charging dock itself when the battery is running low on the vacuum. And that's really convenient to have is that I don't need to continually monitor it. It will just do everything itself. It will go charge itself. And it's like it's got a mind of its own. So what can you say? So check out the link down below in my description. This comes in just around 200 pounds on Amazon. They do run offers from time to time, so you may get some discounts as well, so make sure you check it out. I'm very happy with it. If you really need a robot vacuum to do all of the cleaning for you, save yourself a lot of time, this is the one to get. Now, if there's anything else you guys wanna know, drop a comment down below. If you did find that review useful, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. I do reviews of all things tech, and as I'm building up my new home, I'm gonna be getting a lot of smart home gadgets. I know you're gonna really like those videos, so make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those ones, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.